Betlir's first fortress was built in the 15th century, and after minor expansions, it came into the possession of the Andrashi family in 1642. Ishvan Andrashi ordered the construction of the Betlir Palace in 1708 on the site of the former fortress. His descendants made several alterations to the estate, reshaping the building in classicist style. An ornamental garden and a rotunda were also added. Later, Ishvan's descendants were forced to sell the property, although Emmanuel Andrashi, commonly known as Mono, bought it back in the 1870s. His name is associated with the last major renovation of the palace between 1882 and 1886, when it gained its final form, which is what you can see today. The architect Sandor Ford gave the building complex a unified image in the revivalist style, which was dominant at that time. The palace received a new second floor and new towers, and suites and staff accommodation were added within. Great emphasis was placed on presenting trophies, paintings and selective curiosities from Count Mono's travels abroad and hunting expeditions. The palace was nationalised after the Second World War and then transformed into a museum with a collection of more than 20,000 works of art and a 15,000 volume library showing the centuries-old history of the Andrashi family. <laughs>